Hello everybody, welcome back to the Advanced Vape channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Griffin 25 Mini from Geek Vape. Here it is right here, and uh, real quick I'll go over what's in the package. Thankfully it comes with one of these, which I really like and I, I use on all of my devices, not just Geek Vape stuff. Uh, it comes with a top section with no airflow and uh, one that has air at the top also. So this airflow kind of channels downwards and then back up. It's not uh, just indirect air, so it goes down and up. So you have the option to do both without having to buy a separate version of it, which I like uh, that they decided to do that. And it comes with a single coil adapter that's now stuck in there. But uh, this adapter doesn't have airflow the way that the Griffin 25 one does. So it's just a plug, basically. Uh, I'll go on and set that stuff aside. And we'll talk about the tank itself. So smaller than the Griffin 25. And it's kind of the same situation for me that the Tornado and the Tor Tornado Nano was. They're same name different design. So this isn't just a, a smaller version of the Griffin 25. It's kind of a redesign. So I'm going to go on and take the top off. And you'll see that the wicking channels are... Uh, they're kind of like a RDTA, like a um, aromamizer or a Boreas. You lay it on top of these holes and that uh, kind of wells up the juice from the bottom instead of a channel like on the Griffin, the original Griffin and the 25. So a total redesign of that and really a pretty different tank overall but still has the Griffin name. So I've, I've went ahead and put a build on here. It's a velocity style deck so you don't really need to see the installation on there. Uh, this is a 3mm 7 wrap stainless steel uh, 28 fused with 40 gauge outer wrap. So we're ready to start the dry firing. And I'll go on and, and do that really quickly. Okay, so because this is wick, the wick style is kind of RDTA uh, with a hole at the bottom there, you kind of just place it on top of there um, like you would with the Boreas or the Aromamizer. And so you need to be a little bit cautious not to use too little wick. Um, with the Griffin 25 and the Griffin 22, the original one, it was definitely a less is more approach, but you can't really do that with this, uh, otherwise it's going to leak. So I'm going to be using rayon, but I have used cotton with this also and it works very well. So with rayon, because it's so cheap I don't mind being a little wasteful with it, I kind of just keep pulling it through until I reach a segment that I like. All right, that feels good. Now, I typically, I, I don't know if you can see, but there is a slit underneath where the wick channel is. And the juice kind of fills up that slit and then comes up through these holes at the bottom of the little channel there. So I kind of set my scissors into that slit and cut.
Okay, so at this point, I'm going to wet it down a little bit to get a feel for what it looks like when it's in place. And this is a Max VG juice that I'm using. It's about 80-20. Now I don't want to pack it into these channels, I just want it to sit on top of there and keep it from leaking. And when you're, you're screwing it in, you want to make sure that these are lined up to where the channels are all the way open. There is no juice flow control on this. Um, and there's not really any, I guess you could tighten it down less to try and make it not open, but that would cause seeping at this O-ring. So this is it's definitely intended to be screwed on there all the way with no juice flow control, but if you pack the cotton in tight enough, you shouldn't get any leaking. Uh, I didn't pack it in very tight because... I, that's just my general nature is to try and not put a whole lot of wick in there because I like for it to have a really strong flavor. So it's a, like other RTAs, it's a balance to try and get it to have the flavor that you want without leaking. But with this one, you do need a little bit more wick than you would do on the Griffin 25. Fill through top fill. Definitely doesn't hold as much juice as the Griffin 25, and in my experience, it blows through juice extremely fast. So that's just something to keep in mind if you want a tank that you don't have to refill very often. Uh, I, I you could probably wick this heavy enough that you don't have to refill it that often because it's not going through a lot of juice. But if you want to have really good flavor, then it's going to go through the juice really fast. I'm going to keep this top airflow closed and just use the bottom at about this far open. And we're going to go to temp control. All right, let's give it a try. Temp control is working really well. It's holding right around 460. So solid connections at the atomizer and the base. And you know what? I think I'll go out on a little bit of a limb here and say that this Griffin 25 Mini has the best performance out of any Geek Vague product that they've come out with so far. So that's Griffin 22, Griffin 25, Tsunami, um, Avocado. I believe those are the only ones that I've tried, if they have other ones. Um, the best flavor and performance that I've gotten out of any of them with this one. And it's less finicky to wick, uh, easy to build. It doesn't hold as much juice as the Griffin 25, but for me that's not a big deal. I don't really care. The 
take it back to power mode. Yeah, really fantastic flavor and performance out of this. I can't really exaggerate how much better the flavor is on this one than I got from the Griffin 25. Uh, they're, they're different experiences, really. It just The airflow is a little bit more restricted on this one, uh, unless you, you do the top airflow also, but I'm not really a big fan of top airflow. I feel like it, it kills the flavor a little bit, although not as much as if it was just indirect and not going down to the coils as well. Um, this top airflow is not enough to only use this, so if I were to close this bottom airflow and try and only use the top airflow, it's, uh, it's not enough. It ends up kind of making you cough because it's too much too much density at least with this build uh, for this top airflow to keep up with it uh, I'll try it with one one click open yeah it's not bad uh, it's just not as good a flavor as if you're just relying on that bottom air so as you can see, I really haven't been vaping it for that long and the juice has moved down quite a bit. So it, it does go through juice really fast and if you're actually watching someone else use this, um, you can actually see the juice going down as they're, as they're vaping on it. So it, it does go through juice really fast, but that's kind of where the really good flavor comes from for me. And if that was a concern for you, like I was saying, just wick it heavier. Uh, although it's going to suffer as far as flavor and, and wick speed if you do that. Uh, overall, just a, a really, really refined design of the, the Griffin, and I like the kind of RDTA style wicking in this. I feel like it performs extremely well and very little work to be done with it. I just kind of plugged it in there and, and messed around with it a little bit to make sure that it wasn't going to move around too much when I put the chimney on, but... It's much easier than having to go through the whole air channel thing with the Griffin 22 or the Griffin 25. And you kind of just lay it in there and it works. Uh, I've tried a few different builds in here and overall I really like this tank a whole lot. Um, I haven't really liked the direction that Geek Vape has been going lately on other stuff, but I have nothing bad to say about this tank really. It, it has a really good flavor and performance. and. I would definitely recommend it if you like the other Griffins. It, it's it's a must-have uh, to pick up because the flavor on this is just so much better for me uh, with this build in there than anything else that Geek Vape has made. So as strong a recommendation as I can give on this kind of RTA. That'll bring us to the end of this video about the Griffin 25 Mini from Geek Vape. Uh, if you like this video or, or our channel, give us a like and subscribe to our channel. And as always, if you have any questions, leave them below in the comments or send me an email. Thanks.